Good afternoon, folks. How is everyone? <sighs> I think it might be mosquito season, man. Um, you know you're my people. You know I love you. You know I always want the big three for you, right? I want you healthy. I want you happy. I want you safe. So, welcome to another gas station grab. Technically, not really a gas station grab, because they don't have a gas station there, or at least not pumps, but it will have to do in the pinch. I really do like the selection they're pulling out. I don't know what they told the guy who drops off beer for them, but he dropped off this, so we are going to take a look at it. This is Nomagang. Belgian style blonde, 9.5% is the ABV from the Omegang OMG series. Holy crap, 9.5%. Might be the wrong time of the year to be drinking these. Get, oh, you're not even a fly, you're a freaking beetle. Um, but look, it's got gnomes. It's gnomey, because it's gnomey gang. That little fucker's got a pint of beer on his head. Yeah, that's a pint of beer. Anyway, the mischievous gnomes of Belgian farmstead, uh, Brasiri de Chufi. Hold on. There's not a shot in hell I'm going to be able to read this. A little magic and a lot of mischief. This time the gnomes brought more than just yeast from their favorite Belgian farmstead, Brasiri de Chufi. Yeah, you can look that up. It sucked. No, it's not my fault. I don't speak frog, man. While Coop and the gnomes were spicing things up at the brewery, our brewers were carefully fermenting signature fruity, spicy chouf, C H O U F F E, yeast to create the flavorful, unique blonde ale we all love. You'll enjoy the smooth drinkability, fruity aromas and flavors, and warming finish. The hops will be Styrian Golding. The fermentables are pills, carapils, flaked oats, flaked red wheat, and special bee malt. So that, that does sound like a nice combo there. You can buy it in a 16-ounce can or on draft or in a four-pack of 16-ounce cans. The glassware is a chalice. Get your own here. Well, I don't have to. Have them. Uh, it's going to be available from January 2023 year-round. So, if you poke around, you might be able to find some. They got a parachuter, they got a baseball player getting doinked in the head. They dropped by Brewery Omegang and left behind a present of chufa yeast for our brewing team here in Cooperstown, New York. Well, there goes a baseball combo. Combining their yeast in the primary fermentation along with our recipe, our brewing technique, and our yeast in this can conditioning, so it's can condition, very nice, yields a unique, flavorful, and aromatic dose of magic. If you know, you know. And you can blow that shit up and read it for yourself. I might have screwed something up there. Anyway, Mondo Cool, Frisbee Guy, Paddle Guy, Magic Mushroom Fellas, lots of Magic Mushrooms on here. <laughs> Hopefully not in the beer, I gotta go to work tomorrow. Anyway, you know where we are at, we're gonna crack, we're gonna pour, we're gonna shoot the temp, and while we're doing all that, we're gonna piss off ScrewTube by playing music from their channel that they can then ban me in certain foreign countries. Blobbity, blobbity, bullshit, bullshit, copyright strike. Anyway, here is Bury My Heart at the Trailer Park from Roger Klein and the Peacemakers. One of my favorite bands off of... Huh? Off of Roger Klein and the Peacemakers. I'm assuming that's their first album. I have a copy of it inside somewhere. I do like RCPM, and yes, I am a peacemaker. Anyway, two minutes of rock and roll, and then we're going to be back to see what kind of magic having a can. I think you guys can hear that.
That might be a little loud. I'm hell. No beer for you. If you guys wanted to do something productive, you could be eating the flies. You gotta leave you fuckers alone if you left me alone. What? No! I got it. A really nice, rich, heavy head. Smells like Belgium. Yeah. We're in the sweet spot, we're looking to 47. I was not expecting how rich and heavy that head is. This beer's going to be warm long before that head comes down. Beautiful though. That looks like meringue. That is an absolutely gorgeous head, light and fluffy. All right, we're over to two minutes. That should be good enough to piss off screw tube. That nose is just absolutely the, the Belgian. Okay, if you've never tried a Belgian, do yourself a favor. Go out and grab one. I have a laundry list of good Belgians for you to try. This might very well fall in there. What's up there, Mr. Crow? Mr. Crow had something in his beak. I don't know what it was, though. It's a crow. They eat anything. They make chickens look tame. All right. I'm going to take a little of that head off, and then we'll get the sniffer in there. Oh, man. Just from taking the head in. Not only is she a, a nice, rich Belgian, but she's got some serious spice notes in there, too. Holy crap, that's good. It's not in the nose, though. So the nose is basically just a pretty standard, maybe a little light for a Belgian, which is that... Banana clove is how people refer to it. I refer to it as fruit cakey. Again, I don't know what fruit cake tastes like, but I imagine that's what it smells like. Sort of like everything tastes like chicken. I still don't understand how that works. Here's the beautiful gold yellow color though. Oh man. Uh, 18, 17, 17. Six times. Seventeen. So. It looks like she's going to lace beautifully. Look how clingy she is. I don't know. I'm not really into clingy blondes, but. It's 
sorry. Let's slip it a tongue, because anything this pretty, this rich, smells this good, and uh, the clingy part is the scary part, but I mean, we can't slip it a tongue. Let's slip it a tongue. Yes, I know. I, I didn't refer to it as sticking the Biden in there. I apologize. Even I have off moments. Salute! Really nice, right? So, wow, that's really good. So, a lot of the beers we've been drinking have registered all their notes either on the soft palate or the intradental zone. We're getting uh, some tongue action, getting a little buccal action. This is all lower half of the mouth, at least initially, on the initial hit. All the flavor is tongue sublingual, extra and intradental and buccal, but all from the bottom half of the mouth down. She's really good. As she goes through and you finish the sip, then it kind of crests back over and you get the top of the soft palate involved, you get the intradental zones, but you're still not getting upper buccal area. So no upper extra dental area. Wow, this is good beer, man. Um, there's a lot of spice in here that I cannot nail down, and they didn't tell us what it was. Uh, maybe it's that chouffe, or whatever the hell that word is for the yeast. Entirely possible. That, that's a really, really nice strain of yeast. It's a pinky. Classy. Oof. Rich, heavy for the weather. If she was cooler out, this would be a much better beer. If she was cooler out, she would be much better suited than she is for the temperature. As far as this beer goes, this beer is freaking delicious. Again, with the caveat, I personally love Belgians. Belgians are some of my favorites. And this is a great one. I don't know if anybody listens to Sticks. I listen to Sticks in the morning. I listen to everybody. I mean, so don't hold it against me. You know, Colto likes to fuck with him. But this guy thinks he is an amazing cook and he has a great palate. Well, you know what? He and I have completely separate palates. The man lives in Belgium, doesn't like beer, thinks German beer is horrible things grolsh as dog piss and I, I'm just sitting there and I'm biting my tongue I'm like dude you have no idea what you're talking about but then again he's also well beans go in chili and it's like no idiot no chili was the topping for beans you know, big pot of beans on the trail and then cookie would make up a big pot of chili which was just spiced beef and a gravy and that would go on top of the beans and then you could eat them together so that you had your food groups. <sighs> While I might be narcissistic and uh, pomposity is not without my boundaries, trust me, I've been a pompous ass for a long time. Even I know better than a cop to that shit. All right, she has warmed up a couple of degrees because it is warm out here. Again, she is lacing nicely. Let's see what she's got for us. Wow. So as the flavor opened up, right, because originally all we were really getting was the banana cloves fruit cakey thing, but now we're outside of that 48 degree zone where as the temperature increases, I expect the flavor to shift. She's gotten considerably spicier. Now I'm not talking spicy like uh, jalapenos or habaneros. I'm talking spicy like spices. So there's uh, the bananas and the cloves, the fruit cake, but then there's, I don't know how to say it. I guess it's kind of savory or umami. I guess there's now a new flavor thing recognized as umami, which I think is Japanese. Um, this would be umami, I guess. I will double check, but um, just, just a really, really good solid. I really like this fucking beer, man. 
99%, it might like me a little too much, though. All right, folks. Thanks for coming by and spending some time with me. Even though we are not drinking home-brewed grog out of the cooler when the jackrabbit roasted on a Duraflame log. <sighs> so good. I wonder if I could get the artwork from them. It'll look kind of cool, right? I did order a new flag today, by the way. You guys will like the new flag. If I can ever set the shelter back up and the wind kicks down, but you need to. Um, you know you my people? You know I love you. Happy, healthy, safe, honorable, dutiful, vigilant, gray man, head on a swivel. Come on, you know what the last one is. Hot and handy, my friends, because as Title 42 expires, it, it's going to become a, a plus, trust me. All right, I will catch you on the next one. Till then, I have absolutely no problems toasting you with this. Skull.